what's going on YouTube I'm back today and in one of my previous videos I talked about uh, the program Forescan and that's what I'm going to talk about today um, first step to doing this um, well get ahead of myself here um, so the Forescan software allows you to go into the uh, computer and change um, some minor settings um, one of them that I cannot stand and I can't wait to change is um, when I start my vehicle and then say I forget something and want to run into the house real quick before I leave the trucks running I get out as soon as I shut my door it honks twice at me because my key fob is in my pocket it's so loud and annoying I just can't take it so I'm gonna get rid of that um, another thing is you can change your daytime running lamps to like your fog lights or your parking lights, um, that sort of thing. You can change your uh, sink 3 as far as uh, putting your heat in cooled seats on the touchscreen display, um, temperature gauge, digital readings, stuff like that. Um, kind of cool stuff. So. Uh, first step you need to do is you need to get a OBD2 um, connector of some sort. There's Bluetooth, there's Wi-Fi, um, pretty much all the info I've seen, everybody's using USB um, to OBD2. Now they have a high speed and a medium speed selector switch on it. That's the one you want. It's cost me 20 bucks. Um, from Amazon. It did not come with any drivers. I posted the question on Amazon and within an hour the seller got back with me sent me a link for my Windows 10 64-bit uh, drivers and it was installed just like that. So it's the first step you need or else nothing's gonna work. Um, second, you need a laptop obviously. So, um, But I have not done this yet so let's get it rolling. So another thing you need to do is you need to go to uh, forescan.org and uh, subscribe to be a member. Um, it's really easy. You just create a, you register. You go on the website, you register, and then within a couple of days, maybe a day, sometimes hours, a uh, administrator approves your account. Then you can go on the forums and then vehicle specific spreadsheets like this they uh, come with what you need to change your code to um, as far as the values and uh, I'll, uh, I'll post a picture of that on the video here so you can see it in greater detail um, but like the daytime running lights I have it on here I have it highlighted because that's the one I'm going to use you can see the values that I'm going to change there once you're activated, you can get on the forum and you can uh, get these spreadsheets. So this is for a 15 to 19 F-150. So I think the first one I'm going to do, seeing how I just want to I want to start with something easy um, and just change one line. I'll do the uh, double honk. So let me let me uh, first show you guys what I'm talking about if you don't know what I'm talking about. I'll shut your door. Really annoying, right? Okay, so I'm going to plug her in. All right, so I got her hooked up to the OBD2 port, OBD2 port, um, and the switch is on high speed. And then plugged in my laptop and open opened up the Forescan software. And this is all first for me. The first thing we're gonna do here, find out where we gotta go. So my spreadsheet here, the two horn honk, I'm going to do that later. 
Um, I don't want to start it to verify it again. Um, so we will do the heated and cooled seats on the SYNC 3. So here it is. Heated and cooled seats and steering wheel heat. So right there on the third block of numbers we need to change that second value to a 6. And it is in the APIM and we'll look for 7D00101. Alright, so first thing you want to do is go over to your connection symbol. A uh, box will come up, say make sure your ignition is on, your switch is set to high speed, and your vehicle is not moving. After you've verified that, go ahead and click OK. It'll bring up your profile uh, due to reading your VIN. Click Yes. It'll ask you to move the switch over to medium speed, switch it, and click OK. And this brings up all the modules now on your vehicle. Now we're ready to go to the microchip here, which is configuration and programming. These are all your modules on your vehicle. Now we'll go back to our spreadsheet, our heated and cooled seats. Uh, we want to go to the APIM module. Uh, 7D0101 so we're going to do that here's the APIM we'll hit the play button make sure the switch is set to high speed so go ahead and flip it back to high speed and then click OK gives you a warning box every time if you change these you can mess it up uh, click OK I get this voltage warning every time I just click OK to get out of it and here are all your numerical values. So we want to go to 70 0 0101. That is our top block there. And from our spreadsheet, we wanted to go to the third block of numbers. And we want to change that second value there. On mine, it's a 4. So we're going to change that second value to a 6, like the spreadsheet says. After that, we're going to click Write, and that will write the changes to the vehicle. It says incorrect checksum, do it anyway. And a dialog box comes up. This is very important. Make sure you cycle your ignition off. And you want to let all the power go off on the vehicle before you turn the ignition back on off on let's see and it does not look any different all right so it worked i just want to show you this um, I just didn't shut the key off long enough. So I want to talk to you guys about uh, Forescan and go over what and all I did in total to the truck so far. But right now, it's just way too dirty to show you guys. So we're going to change that. Go get it washed. That's better. Alright, so these are the new daytime running lights that I put in. It does the parking lamps and the turn signals, the halo, and the turn signal, instead of the uh, low beam LEDs. And then as well on the back, the halo around the tail light. The temperature gauges for the engine and transmission have the values on them now. And the heated and cooled seats are now on the home screen of SYNC 3. And I changed my flashers from 3 to 4. It works better for me with lane changes. 
And last but not least, is my key. No double hunt. It's amazing. So there you have it. Four scan in a nutshell. I haven't dug real deep into it. I mean, there's uh, there's other sections in it that I just haven't read up on or um, checked out yet on the forum. I've uh, asked a couple questions on there, so we'll see what happens uh, when they get answered. But you know, specifically, I want to see if I can change the gain of the stock Sony subwoofer that's in the back um, through that system. So there's a bunch of PADs and everything, but I don't want to just jump in there and mess around and mess something up to where I got to take it back to the dealership. But either way, um, four scan. It's a pretty cool customization that you can do there. Um, yeah, that's my take on it. So, all right. So, if you guys want to, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I'm trying to release one video a week at this point. This one's taken a little longer because this one's been uh, quite the process to figure out um, a little bit. And then uh, I just got plain busy with work last week. So, um, it is what it is. But, yeah, so subscribe if you want to and check out some of my other videos. Until we meet again, later.